Yo guys, this is your artist Tolgard and I'm back with a new drawing tutorial. Today I will show you how to draw Jiren from Dragon Ball Super Battle Damaged. Let's start after the intro. As always, we will need an A4 size paper sheet. The paper I'm using is from Copic, 250 gram thick and high quality. We also need a pencil, an eraser and a ruler of your choice. The brand doesn't really matter here. First, we will do some guidelines. We will have the A4 size paper and then we will add a 3cm guideline for the face at the top. Just like that guys, now you are ready to start. I always start with the face, to be exact with the eyes. Therefore we will use the guidelines to place the eyes. I will give Jiren an angry and serious look. So draw the eyes edgy and add some wrinkles above them. Then we will place the big iris of Jiren to the eyes. For the nose, we will only add two small dots, as Jiren doesn't really has a nose. The mouth will be open, but the teeth pressed together. That way he will look very angry. And we will add some wrinkles around the mouth too. Then we will continue with the face and head shape. The ears will be placed next to the eyes. As Juran is angry, we will add big veins on his head. Just like that. And as he is battle damaged, we will add some scratches to the head as well. Perfect. We will give him a very massive neck and massive traps. So draw the traps very high. Then you can draw the upper chest and add the definition to the neck and traps. A small vein on his neck as well and then we will add the scratches. Perfect. Now to the torso. As you know I like to draw the shape of the torso and the muscles first. That way it's way easier to keep the proportions in place. And when you're done with the shape, you can draw the muscles more detailed. Juran will be very muscular, which will make him look even more powerful. So 
so far so good. We will also add big wanes and scratches to the muscles. As you can see, I draw the muscles very big and defined. We will continue like that for the arms and legs. Draw the shape of the lower arm and then we will draw the glow. The hand will be shaped into a fist which will be seen from the side. Adding big wains to his bicep and forearm here as well. Looks great guys. Same process for the other arm. You can always make some corrections while sketching as I do here. That's what the sketch is for guys. Now we will move on to the legs. Draw the shape of the legs first. The legs are very muscular as well. Great. Then we can move on to the suit which is torn. Watch how I draw the torn shirt and try to apply it on your drawing. Perfect. Now we can draw the leg muscles more detailed. Pants will have some torn parts as well. Also add the scratches to the visible skin. Looking good. Same process on the other leg. And that's it guys, we are done with sketching Juran. Let's take a look. Okay, looks pretty good. Juran is very muscular and looks very powerful, as he is. When you're happy with the sketch, move on to the inking. We need only one pen for the inking. I like to use this pen from Copic with the 0.05mm strength. But you don't have to use a pen from Copic. The brand doesn't always matter. As for the inking, the process is very simple. We will just go over every line with the pen. Just pay attention that you're doing it very slow, relaxed and controlled. You can also move the paper around so your hand is comfortable. Take your time guys.
Ok, first layer of the ink done and now we can erase the pencil lines. Great, now the drawing is clean. As you guys know, I like to give my drawings a second layer of ink. I do it because of three reasons. First, it's kind of a double check on the inking. Some areas aren't very accurately inked, so that way you can improve the inking. Second, your drawing looks amazing with those thicker lines. It's like a mix of anime and comic. I just love it. And the third reason is, it's just fun guys, so try it out. So guys, let's touch and then we can take a look at the inked version of Juran. And it looks very good. Juran looks like he is ready to get colored, so let's go. Ok guys, we will start with coloring the eyes. Use a black pen to color the iris with and then use C7 to color the eyes. Then use C3 to color the right side of the teeth. Great! We will pretend that the light is shining from the left, which means that we have to place the shades on the right side of Juran. As for the skin, we need only two color tones. Use B60 as the brightest skin tone. Use all the face features and the wrinkles to place the shades. We will leave big white parts on the left side of Juran so it will look like we are using three color tones for the skin. The darker skin tone will be BV23. Use this one on the right side of Juran. We will also use the face features like the eyes, nose, mouth, ears and veins to place the shading. Great, then we will use the same marker again to do a second layer which will be darker. That way we will have a fourth skin color. And to give the skin more definition we will use a black colored pencil to add even darker shades. Now we will add some blood to his face with a purple color pencil. And for the bleeding areas we will use a purple pen. We will continue just like that for the upper body. Use B60 again and add the shading to the neck and traps. Then use BW23 to do the darker shading. Use the definition of the traps and neck to place the shades. Now to the second layer. We are still using BV23. Use it lightly on the right side and on the inner parts of the muscles. Now some blending with B60 and then adding more definition to the skin with the black color pencil. Looks great. Now add some blood to finish up the neck part. Now we will continue with the shoulder. Use B60 to color the entire shoulder width but leave white big parts on the left side. Then use BV23 to add light shades. Use the definition of the shoulder and the vein to place the shades. The second layer with BV23 and then blending with B60. Then we will use a black color pencil for more definition and after that we will add the blood to the shoulder. Looking very good so far guys. Let's continue with the pec muscles. Color the inner part of the chest with B60. 
then use BV23 for the shading. Therefore, we will again use the definition of the muscles and the vein to place the shades. The second layer with BV23, the blending with B60 and more definition with the black pencil. Then adding the blood and more bleeding with the purple pen. We will now do the exact same thing for the other pack and shoulder, except that this side will have way darker shades. Therefore, we will use BV23 much more on this side. Other than that, it's the same process with the same order of color tones. And to make the side look even darker, we will not leave any white parts, so cover the entire shoulder with color. Just like that guys, I really like it. Now to the arms. We will use B60 and we will leave big white parts on this side. Then use BV23 and do the shading on the right side. Again, we are using the muscle definition and veins to place the shades. The second layer, the blending and then the black pencil for the definition. We will add big bleeding to this arm with the purple pen and then adding the blood to the scratches. Very good. Now to the abdominal area. We will also leave white parts on the left side of the muscles. Then use BV23 again for the shading. Again, way more shading on the right side. Use the definition of the apps to place the shades here as well. Now to the second layer with BV23 and then you can blend with B60. Great. Now use the black color pencil for the darker shades and the definition for the skin. And to finish up the abs we will add the blood and a little bleeding. Perfect. Now to the other arm which will be way darker. Therefore we will color the entire arm, no white parts here. We will cover almost the entire arm with BV23. Then we are doing the second layer and the bleeding. This arm will bleed as well. Then add the blood to the scratches and the definition to the skin with the black pencil. That's it. Now to the skin on the legs. Same process here as well guys. You know how it goes, so let's finish up this skin. Perfect. The biggest part of Duran is colored, the rest is easy. Continuing with the gloves. Use C3 as the main color tone 
and use it on the right side. Then use C5 and C7 for the shading. And then we will cover the white parts with C0. Same process on the other glove, except this side will be darker. Therefore, we will use the darker tones C5 and C7 way more. Perfect guys, now to the torn shirt. Use R27 and cover the left side with it. Then use R59 for the shading more on the right side and very little on the left side. Then we will do a second layer with R27 and adding a darker shading with C7 on the right side. Great, now to the last part, the pants. Use C5 and cover the entire left part of both legs. Then use C7 and cover the rest of the pants with it. Perfect, now we will use a black pen and mark the areas which we will color black. Again, adding the black shading on the right side of each leg. Then you can do a second layer with C5 and C7 to color the legs evenly. We will also add some scratches to the closes with the black color pencil. We are close to the end guys, same process on the other leg. Mark the areas for the black shading. This side will have way bigger dark shades. Perfect, now to the second layer with C5 and C7 and then we are done guys. Last scratches and then we are done. Let's take a look at the final result. And I think it turned out very good guys. This is how you draw Jiren the Grey Battle Damaged. The shading turned out very well. The colors in combination with the purple blood looks great. I hope you had an easy time following my steps guys. You can find all the links to the products I am using in the info box below. Also the Copic color numbers are in the info box below. If you enjoyed this tutorial today and if you liked the drawing, Give this video a like and share it with your friends. Comment below what you think of my version of Jiren and also give me some ideas for future tutorials. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, do it right now and click on the bell icon so you will not miss any of my future uploads. That's it guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Until then, stay healthy, stay fit, be a good person, be you and always remember. You are the designer of your own life.